Welcome everyone. In this video, we will do very quick revision of linear differential equation and we will solve some multiple choice questions related to that. Uh, this will be more focused on a homogeneous linear differential equation. So there are multiple concepts like uh, Ronskian, the interval in which differential equation is normal, solution of a homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So everything will be discussed in this video, right? In case if you are new to the channel, you should subscribe the channel. Why? Because it will take care of all your mathematics course requirement of all semesters. I already have uploaded videos related to discrete maths and I am all uploading videos related to probability and statistics course and this course as well. So it is important to subscribe. Uh, first of all, in the exam, they may ask you a question related to identifying the type of differential equation. So the questions may be related to identify that which of the following differential equation is linear or which of the following differential equation is not linear. In case if you want to see the detail, you should uh, check my playlist of linear differential equation. I will put that in the uh, you know uh, comment section or rather in the description. So you should check that as well. Here uh, I'll be solving some questions so that you understand the concept quickly. So if you look at the first example, classify the linear differential equation. So this is a, a non-homogeneous because the right hand side is not equal to zero. So this is a non-homogeneous uh, linear differential equation uh, with constant coefficient with uh, constant coefficient of of order two, right? So this is the first answer. If I ask you what is this? So you can clearly see that this is also non-homogeneous because right hand side is not equal to zero and a linear differential equation with constant coefficient. What are the coefficients? One, two and one and of order two. So it is same as the previous one. If I look at this, this is a homogeneous because the right hand side is equal to zero. I'm not writing the detail. You can see by homo, I mean homogeneous by non homo I mean non homogeneous. So this is a homogeneous linear differential equation LDE and here the coefficients are x square x and x square minus four. So homogeneous linear differential equation with a variable coefficient, variable coefficient of order two, of order two. So you can see that the second uh, ordered uh, term y double dash is present here. If I look at this example, this is also a homogeneous linear differential equation. The coefficients are one minus x square minus two x and 20. So means variable coefficients are there and order of this differential equation is two. Okay, so the questions may be related to that. Next kind of question may be related to finding the interval in which the differential equation is normal. So I'm going to solve three, four quick problems. So uh, what is the process? The process is that we identify the coefficient of different term. So if you look at this example here, the coefficient like uh, a naught x, that is the highest order term coefficient is one minus x square. Uh, then uh, a1x uh, is equal to minus 2x, uh, a2x is equal to 3 and the right hand side x uh, is equal to 0. So the first step is to check the interval in which these uh, functions are continuous. 1 minus x square is a polynomial function, minus 2x is a polynomial function, 3 is a constant function and rx is 0 is a constant function. So there is a property that polynomial function and constant functions are everywhere continuous means it is continuous in the entire range of uh, real number that is minus infinity to infinity. Second requirement is that a naught x that is the highest order coefficient term should not be equal to zero. So if one minus x square is not equal to zero, it means one minus x into one plus x should not be equal to zero. So this implies that x should not be equal to minus one and one. So from this interval, I have to remove the points that is minus one to one. So how can I write that? I can write that as minus infinity to minus one and then one to uh, sorry, minus one to one and then one to infinity. Uh, 
so this is the interval in which the given differential equation will be normal and in in any sub interval of this interval also the differential equation will be normal so suppose i give you uh, the options like uh, in which of the following uh, interval this differential equation is normal and suppose i take the interval like minus infinity to uh, 0 and i take the interval like uh, 0 to infinity and i take the interval like 2 to infinity and suppose I take the interval like uh, you know minus 5 to 5 so you can clearly see that in minus infinity to 0 we have the point minus 1 which I don't want so this can't be correct in 0 to infinity we have the point 1 so it is also not correct in 2 to infinity it is uh, a su sub interval of 1 to infinity and there is no uh, point like minus 1 and 1 here so this will become a correct option this will also not be correct because in minus 5 to 5 we have both minus 1 and 0 so i have discussed in very detail about this uh, other three problems i am going to discuss very quickly so if you look at the second one uh, the coefficients are x square x n square minus x square and 0 and these are all polynomials so these are all continuous in minus infinity to infinity and highest order coefficient term that is x square uh, should not be equal to 0 means x should uh, not be equal to 0 so the required interval will be minus infinity to 0 and 0 to infinity so basically all the interval except the point uh, which contains 0 in that interval this differential equation will be normal okay now uh, quickly look at uh, the other two problems as well this is a very important kind of question so i am taking multiple examples so if i talk about this you can clearly see i write here the coefficient add x into 1 minus x minus 3x minus 1 and the right hand side is equal to 0 uh, polynomial polynomial constant function constant function everywhere continuous the highest order coefficient the highest order term is y double dash its coefficient is x into 1 minus x should not be equal to 0 so this implies that x should not be equal to 0 and x should not be equal to 1 so the interval that I uh, that will be you know uh, in which the differential equation will be normal is minus infinity to 0 and then uh, 0 to 1 and then 1 to infinity so basically i have removed the point 0 and 1 from this if you look at the last problem here here the coefficients are y double dash coefficient is 1 y dash coefficient is 9 uh, that is y coefficient is 1 and the right hand side is log of x square minus 9 these are three constant function constant functions are everywhere continuous means in the interval minus infinity to infinity but we know that log function is defined when this x square minus 9 is greater than 0 so if i take x square minus 9 greater than 0 basically it is x plus 3 into x minus 3 greater than 0 so if you want to solve it you have to plot these two points that is minus 3 and 3 on the number line and in the extreme right it will be positive and then negative and then positive so it means that it will be uh, the required interval in which this will uh, be continuous is minus infinity to minus 3 and then uh, 3 to infinity so continuity was uh, uh, not a you know a problem for these three functions but for this it will be continuous in this interval and another requirement is that coefficient of highest order term is 1 so certainly 1 can never be 0 means a naught x is equal to 1 which certainly is not equal to 0 so the answer for this question is that in which interval this is normal so it is normal is minus inf infinity to minus 3 and then 3 to infinity or any sub interval of this interval also this differential equation will be normal so this is the second kind of problem third kind of problem is that uh, finding uh, whether the given set of functions are linearly dependent or independent or uh, finding the uh, Ronskian value of this so for this to explain I have taken three example and suppose they ask you to find the Ronskian value of this or to check the linear dependent or independent in both cases we have to calculate the Ronskian so if I ask you what is the Ronskian of 1 sin x and cos x so we write to 1 uh, sin x and cos x and then we differentiate it derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of sin x is cos x derivative of cos x is uh, minus sin x 
and then we differentiate cos uh, sorry uh, this second uh, row again so derivative of 0 is 0 cos x will give you uh, minus sin x and minus sin x will give you uh, minus cos x so if you simplify this it will be like minus uh, cos square x and minus 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 plus sin square x so basically this is equal to minus 1 so if they ask the question what is the Ronskian value so the answer will be minus 1 if they ask the question whether they are linearly dependent or independent so since the Ronskian is not equal to 0 these values uh, these functions are linearly independent li independent linearly independent right if you are not 0 means you are independent if you are a 0 means you are dependent yeah it is easy to remember now second question is that so that the functions are linearly dependent on a, an interval uh, which uh, does not contain 0 so again here also I have to calculate the Ronskian so uh, how to do that again the same thing if I take the second question and the, they may also ask you the question that what is the Ronskian value of this so you know to calculate the Ronskian what you do you take the functions as the first row of the determinant x x square x cube then you differentiate you get 1 differentiation of x square is 2x differentiation of x cube is 3x square then you differentiate it again 0 2 and 6x and then you uh, evaluate it so you can see I can expand it about the first column so x into 2x into 6x so that is 12 x square minus 2 into 3 x square that is 6 x square and minus 1 into this row is gone this column is gone x square into 6 x that is 6 x cube minus 2 x cube so what we get here it is 6 x square into x that is 6 x cube and minus uh, here it is 4 x cube so what we get is 2 x cube so if they ask the question what is the Ronskian value so answer will be 2 x cube but they are asking that these functions are linearly independent on an interval which does not contain 0 so certainly it, this will not be 0 in any interval not containing 0 because 2 x cube will be 0 when 2x cube will be 0 when x is equal to 0 so this functions x x square and x cube are linearly independent in any interval which does not contain 0 so suppose I take for example interval 0 to infinity so this interval does not contain 0 so in this it will be linearly independent now suppose they ask you the third question that uh, whether it is linearly dependent or independent or what is the Ronskian value so if I solve it uh, w how will you solve you write the functions like 2x uh, 6x plus 3 and 3x plus 2 then you differentiate it 2 6 and 3 and then you differentiate it you get 0 0 and 0 so what is the Ronskian value the Ronskian value is 0 because the third row of the determinant is 0 so it means that these three functions are linearly dependent d ld not li these are linearly dependent so we have seen identification of a differential equation normal form and then how to solve a Ronskian related problem then the next kind of problem will be solving uh, a homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient right so uh, there are different kind of question we will be solving them one by one and basically these are all multiple choice question only thing is that I have not given you the options because uh, typing the option was slightly time consuming for me so let me solve them one by one so if I solve the first one uh, what is the auxiliary equation auxiliary equ I'm, I'm not going to write all the detail that like aux auxiliary equation is this and this and this that I have already discussed in the uh, video here I'll be writing the quick answer so auxiliary equation is m square minus 4 is equal to 0 so this will give me the root that is m is equal to 2 and minus 2 so the general solution will be y is equal to c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x these two are a real root and distinct root so we can quickly write the answer how much time it will take more than 30 less than 30 seconds sorry <laughs> second if I have to write the auxiliary equation it will be like m square minus 4m minus 12 is equal to 0 I can factorize this so m square minus 6m uh, plus 2m minus 12 is equal to 0 
so here I can take m common I will get m minus 6 I can take 2 common I will get m minus 6 is equal to 0 so I will get what I will get m minus 6 into m plus 2 is equal to 0 so I will get m is equal to 6 and minus 2 again real and distinct root how to write the solution c1 e to the power 6x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x if I solve the third question this one so for this what is the auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is m square I hope you know how to write the auxiliary equation for y double dash we write m square plus for y dash we write m and uh, for uh, coefficient of y whatever is the constant term I write so for y double dash I am writing m square plus 4 y dash I will write 4 m plus 1 is equal to 0 right so how will you uh, solve it it will be m is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square that is 16 minus 4 ac so 4 into 1 into 1 by 2 into 1 right you, you remember this formula so minus 4 plus minus 16 minus 4 is under root 12 by 2 so you can write it minus 4 plus minus under root 12 can be written as 2 under root 3 it is 4 into 3 so I can write it like 2 and then uh, 2 can be taken common so it will become minus 2 plus minus uh, under root 3 so these are also real and uh, distinct root don't confuse it with imaginary root some students I have noticed confuse it with imaginary roots so the general solution will be c1 e to the power minus 2 plus under root 3x uh, plus c2 e to the power uh, minus 2 minus under root 3x right uh, okay so the th uh, third question is done and in all these examples the roots were uh, real and distinct now if I go to the next example here what is the auxiliary equation the example number four the auxiliary equation is 9 m square minus 12 m plus 4 is equal to 0 so uh, can you see it I can uh, see it that it is like uh, or let me factorize the general way so 9m square minus 6m minus 6m plus 4 is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me uh, you know you can take uh, 3m common here so you will get 3m minus 2 you can take minus 2 common here so you will get 3m minus 2 is equal to 0 so what you will get you will get 3m minus 2 into 3m minus 2 is equal to 0 so m here are same like 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 these are repeated roots so you remember how to write the solution in case of repeated root we take c1 plus c2 x e to the power 2 by 3 x we will also be solving the third order or fourth order linear differential equation so just uh, be with me till the very end so it will give you a complete revision so we have done all the four problems now there are two more problem in the end so to solve it I am going to uh, make a space here so let's uh, solve the last two questions as well so if I uh, take the last two question uh, what is the auxiliary equation uh, m square I am talking about this question so auxiliary equation is m square plus 4m plus 5 is equal to 0 so we have seen the example where roots were real and distinct we have seen the example where roots were repeated now this is an example where roots will be imaginary so I write m is equal to minus b that is minus 4 plus minus b square so b square is 4 square so 16 minus 4 ac that is 4 into 1 into c that is 5 and by 2 into 1 so what I can do I can write minus 4 plus minus and 16 minus 20 that is uh, minus 4 by 2 so uh, how much I will get I will get minus 4 plus minus uh, 2i uh, divided by 2 so this will give me minus 2 plus minus i I hope you are getting it is minus b so minus 4 b square 16 minus 4 ac so 4 into 1 into c that is uh, 5 so 4 into 5 20 16 minus 20 is minus 4 minus 4 and plus minus a square root of minus 4 is 2i and by 2 so 2 can be taken common I will get so this is the imaginary pair of root so what is the general solution you know how to write that solution you write e to the power minus 2x and then c1 cos x plus c2 sin x in case if you do not know how to write this you have to watch the playlist okay 
now let me solve the last question for the last question uh, if I call it 6 the auxiliary equation will be m square plus 25 is equal to 0 very easy so here the m will be plus minus 5i so what will be the general solution y will be alpha here is 0 so it will be e to the power 0x so no need to write that will become 1 and then it will be like c1 cos 5x plus c2 sin 5x so this is what uh, you know the solution looks like so we have uh, done another kind of question now let me uh, after this we have done this and what is the next kind yeah so the next kind is that the solution may be given and they may ask you that form a differential equation which looks like this a y double dash plus b y dash plus c y is equal to zero so basically they are asking you to form a differential equation of order two when the solutions are given like e to the power 3x and e to the power minus 2x so i hope you uh, have understood in uh, the videos if you have, you might have watched or in the classes you might have attended that uh, if i have to solve the first question e to the power 3x is a solution so how do you get the solution e to the power 3x if you get the roots of the auxiliary equation as m is equal to 3 right and if you get the roots of the auxiliary equation as minus 2 so you will get e to the power minus 2x so what i am basically suggesting is that suppose you have uh, this as the auxiliary equation root then what will be the general solution you write it like c1 e to the power 3x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x so basically these two are the solution e to the power 3x and e to the power minus 2x and this solution you call it general uh, solution because you have taken the linear combination of these two solutions and uh, in case if you might be aware that these two solutions are also linearly independent so if you calculate the Ronsky and that will not be equal to zero so these things you might have studied earlier so in case if the roots are given so how will you write the uh, equation so first of all you will write the auxiliary equation so if the roots are 3 and minus 2 the auxiliary equation will be m minus 3 into m plus 2 is equal to 0 so this will give you what this will give you uh, m square minus 3m uh, plus 2m uh, minus 6 is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me m square minus m minus 6 is equal to 0 so if this is your auxiliary equation what will be your differential equation for m square i will write y double dash for m i will write y dash and then 6 so i will write minus 6 y is equal to 0 so this is the answer for this if i uh, look at the second problem here the solutions are 1 and e to the power minus 2x so 1 can be basically seen as e to the power 0x and another is e to the power minus 2x so that the roots are 0 and minus 2 so what will be the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation will be m minus 0 into m minus minus 2 that is m plus 2 is equal to 0 so this will basically give me m square plus 2m is equal to 0 so the dif uh, differential equation will be y double dash plus 2y dash is equal to 0 if I solve the third question uh, we have e to the power 2x so the uh, and another is uh, x e to the power 2x can anyone guess this kind of solution occurs when the roots are repeated 2 and 2 do you remember that when you get the roots like suppose 3 and 3 how do you write the general solution you write the general solution like c1 plus c2 x e to the power 3x so basically there are two solution here c1 e to the power 3x that is one of the solution and c2 into x e to the power 3x so x e to the power 3x is the other solution so if you take e to the power 2x and x e to the power 2x the uh, roots are 2 comma 2 repeated roots suppose we have something like x square e to the power 2x also so in that case it will be 2 and 2 and 2 means third order linear differential equation so if roots are 2 and 2 uh, the auxiliary equation will be m minus 2 into m minus 2 is equal to 0 so this is basically m square minus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0 so the differential equation will be y double dash minus 4y dash plus 4y is equal to 0 so as you can see that solving a multiple choice question uh, 
is uh, similar to solving this kind of problems only thing is that I have not given you the option and I am going to talk about all kind of problems so it will give you a kind of crash course in just uh, one or maybe I don't know how much time it will take to complete this video but anyway you will be able to uh, understand or kind of revise all kind of problems okay so moving ahead now we are going to solve some examples of higher order linear differential equation with constant coefficients which are homogeneous okay so we are already in around 25 minutes completed but as you can see we are solving many problems so don't worry now this kind of questions may be asked uh, and you can see this is a third order third order third order and fourth order linear differential equation uh, so if I have to solve it again, I'm not going to write the details directly. I will write the auxiliary equation. So y triple dash that is m cube minus 9y dash that is 9m is equal to 0. So it is a third order linear differential equation. So its general solution will contain three arbitrary constant. I hope you remember that. So how to solve it uh, to find the root? I will take m common m square minus 9 is equal to 0. So here m is equal to 0 and m square minus 9 is m plus 3 and m minus 3. So that will give me 3 and minus 3. So the general solution will be y is, is equal to c1 e to the power 0x means 1 plus c2 e to the power 3x and plus c3 e to the power minus 3x. How much time it will take? Less than uh, 30 seconds or maybe uh, 45 seconds. Question number 2. Uh, what is the auxiliary equation? 3. Uh, m cube minus 2 m square minus 3 m plus 2 is equal to 0 so this is a cubic polynomial 3 m cube minus 2 m square uh, minus 3 m plus 2 is equal to 0 so finding the root is one of the most important kind of uh, you know aspect of solving this kind of problem so you see that uh, if it is a cubic equation we can use hit and trial so if i take m is equal to 1 it will be like 3 minus 2 minus 3 plus 2 so you can see it is 3 plus 2 5 minus 5 will be equal to 0 so means m minus 1 is a factor m minus 1 is a factor so how to find the other roots we have to factorize uh, there are different ways some of you use division some of you use synthetic division or whatever method i'm going to write it directly so i will take 3 uh, m square and m minus 1 so this is the way i can do it you uh, m minus 1 is a factor so without thinking anything i want 3 m cube so i will write 3 m square into m minus 1 now we have 3 m cube and minus 3 m square but we just want minus 2 m square means we have to write plus m square so i write m and into m minus 1 now you see you have minus m and you want minus 3 m so you have to add minus 2 m so you write minus 2 that is m minus 1 is equal to 0 so what did you get you get m minus 1 into 3 m square plus m minus 2 is equal to 0 in case if you are uh, uh, not able to understand this you can do the division right so m minus 1 and now it is a quadratic equation so i have to factorize it for that 3 into 2 6 m square so 3 m square and here i write plus 3 m and here i write minus 2 m minus 2 is equal to 0 so i will get what i will get m minus 1 and from here i can take 3 m common so i will get m plus 1 and from this i can take minus 2 common so i will get m plus 1 is equal to 0 continuing in this side because we don't have a space in the bottom i will get what i will get m minus 1 and m plus uh, 1 and here i will get 3 m minus 2 is equal to 0 so the roots will be like uh, 1 minus 1 and 2 by 3 all are uh, real and distinct so the general solution will be c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power minus x plus c3 e to the power 2 by 3x so finding the root is one of the most important aspect of this kind of problem solving uh, i'll be sorry i'll be solving uh, the last problem because this one i leave for you just uh, solve it quickly and let me know in the comment section that what will you uh, get the answer for the third problem now i am going to solve the fourth problem this is the fourth order linear differential equation so the auxiliary equation is m to the power sorry uh, m to the power 4 uh, minus 13 m square 
plus 36 is equal to 0 so this is kind of uh, you know factorized very easily you can write m to the power 4 minus 9 m square uh, minus 4 m square plus 36 is equal to 0 so you can take m square common and you can write m square minus 9 you can take minus 4 common and you can write m square minus 9 is equal to 0 so what will you get you will get m square minus 9 into m square minus 4 is equal to 0 so this will give you m is equal to 3 and minus 3 this will give you 2 and minus 2 so what will be the general solution c1 e to the power 3x plus c2 e to the power minus 3x plus c3 e to the power 2x plus c4 e to the power minus 2x so this kind of uh, problems will be there you will be uh, able to solve it now let us uh, solve this kind of problem find a homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient of lowest order which has the following particular solution so these are not the general solution these are the particular solution so how to solve this kind of problem that is going to be very interesting and these are a good quality question if they ask it uh, it will be considered a good question okay so let us solve them one by one uh, these questions are slightly technical so be careful when I uh, explain it so they are saying that this is a particular solution so if you have this as the particular solution it is very obvious that I am getting 5 and there is no function so possibly there was a function e to the power 0x because that will become 1 and you have e to the power x so the coefficient the arbitrary uh, constant actually has become 1 here and second arbitrary constant 2 uh, that means the c1 is 5 c2 is 1 and c, uh, c3 is 2 e to the power 3x so if this is a particular solution then at least this is guaranteed that 0 1 and 3 must be the root of the auxiliary equation there may be other uh, you know roots as well we, for example I can consider that the roots may be e to the power 7x but its uh, coefficient the arbitrary constant that fourth coefficient has become 0 so that is why we have got this as a particular solution so there may be any number of terms in the general solution but we are not interested in that we are interested in lowest order so that is why I am considering that it has uh, three roots only that is 0 1 and 3 and if we know that these are the three roots the auxiliary equation will be m minus 0 into m minus 1 into m minus 3 is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me m into m square minus m minus 3 m so that is minus 4 m plus 3 is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me m cube uh, minus 4m square plus 3m is equal to 0 right interesting question so corresponding to this what will be the differential equation that is y triple dash minus 4y double dash plus 3y dash is equal to 0 okay I hope you have understood in case if you are still in doubt please watch the video uh, in the playlist of linear differential equation here I am going to quickly solve the next problem so here we have x into e to the power minus x and you remember x into e to the power minus x terms occurs only when there is a repeated root like minus 1 and minus 1 if there is just one root then e to the power minus x will occur but x e to the power minus x is coming it means it is guaranteed that there will be at least two roots which will be minus 1 and minus 1 there may be more roots also but we are interested in lowest order so minus 1 and minus 1 is guaranteed and here it is e to the power 2x so 2 is also guaranteed so if I write the auxiliary equation uh, it will be like m um, minus 1 so m minus minus 1 is m plus 1 a square because there are two roots and then m minus 2 is equal to 0 so if you simplify it it will be like m a square um, and plus 2m plus 1 into m minus 2 is equal to 0 so if you solve it further you will get m cube plus 2 m square plus m and here you will get minus 2 m square 
and minus 4m minus 2 is equal to 0. So further simplifying I will get m cube and uh, what I will get here that uh, 2m square and minus 2m square so that will be cancelled right and m minus 4m will give me minus 3m and minus 2 is equal to 0. So what is the corresponding uh, linear differential equation? It will be y triple dash uh, because m cube 3m means 3y dash and minus 2 means minus 2y is equal to 0. Okay, I hope you got this. If I solve the question number third, uh, let me use the red color here and use this space. So e to the power minus x means I am sure that m is equal to minus 1 must be a root. And then you are getting cos 5x and sin 5x you remember when do you get the uh, when you get the roots like alpha plus minus i beta your general solution contains e to the power alpha x c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x so if i look at this uh, you know term here i'm not sure what is alpha so i can't make any comment but certainly i'm sure that beta is uh, 5 so I, I can take the roots as plus minus 5i. So if these are the roots, when do you get the roots plus minus 5i? Uh, when you have the factor like m square plus 25. Because plus minus 5i means uh, m square uh, plus 25 must be there. And minus 1 means m uh, plus 1 is equal to 0. So if you simplify this, you will get m cube plus 25m and uh, plus m square plus 25 is equal to 0. So you will get m, m for m cube you will get y triple dash for m square you will get y double dash for 25 m you will get 25 y dash and plus 25 is equal to 0. So this is how you can form a differential equation when the particular uh, solutions are given right. So okay uh, now we are done with uh, the concepts now i'm going to solve some quick multiple choice questions we have many of them and i hope till now you have enjoyed the videos so in case if you still have not liked before you proceed further please like it and share with your friends as well now let us quickly solve and how much time we have taken in this video around 37 minutes so find the interval in which the differential equation uh, this is normal basically their uh, differential equation this is normal that is what they wanted to ask so again you can see that coefficients are 1 plus x square minus sin x 1 and under root x and 1 plus x square is everywhere continuous minus sin x is everywhere continuous 1 is everywhere continuous under root x is continuous when x is greater than or equal to 0 rather defined when x is greater than or equal to 0 and 1 plus x square that is the coefficient of y dash it can never be equal to 0 because for no value of x 1 plus x square will be equal to 0 right so no such x is possible so only thing is that we have to take x greater than or equal to 0 means the interval will be closed interval 0 to infinity so this option will be correct which of the following is not a linear differential equation so can you guess which of the following is not a linear differential equation y triple dash minus 7xy dash plus 7y dash this is a linear differential equation y triple dash minus 7 y okay this is not a linear differential equation can you see it why because here y and y dash term are multiplied together so this is the correct option you can verify that other two are also the linear differential equation next the total number of arbitrary constant in the general solution of the differential equation so first of all to find that how many arbitrary constant will be there in the general solution of a linear differential equation we need to know that uh, uh, what is the order of this so the order of this differential equation is if you look at this if you expand it you will get d to the power 4 plus uh, 8d square and plus 16 into d minus 2y is equal to sine x can you guess it and when you multiply it you will get d to the power 4 into d that is d to the power 5 so highest order coefficient will be of four, uh, fifth order uh, you know so what is the order of this differential equation the order of this differential equation is 5 
so how many arbitrary constant it will have in the general solution that is equal to 5 the same question find the general solution of the differential equation now how to find the general solution first of all its auxiliary equation um, you can write directly and here you can clearly see that it has d square plus 4 so I write m square plus 4 uh, a square into m minus 2 is equal to 0 so m square plus 4 a square is there so uh, students don't make the mistake it is basically m square plus 4 into m square plus 4 into m minus 2 is equal to 0 so m is equal to plus minus 2i because of this and because of this again m will be plus minus 2i and because of this m will be equal to 2 so what will be the general solution general solution will be uh, plus for plus minus 2 and plus minus 2i two pair of repeated rules are there so I will get a plus bx cos 2x c plus dx sin 2x and then for this e to the power 2x so this will be the correct option right uh, you can clearly say that other options are not correct because this has just one two and three arbitrary constant this has one two three four arbitrary constant this has one two and three arbitrary constant so even though if we don't solve it just by looking at the number of arbitrary constant that must be present in the general solution we can answer that the first option is correct find the general solution of this so we have already done many such questions so I don't think we should take any much time so what is the auxiliary equation 25 m square minus 20 m plus 4 is equal to 0 so are you smart enough to note that it is 5m minus 2 whole square is equal to 0 a square that is 5m b square that is 2 and 2ab so minus 20m so what is the value of m the value of m is 2 by 5 comma 2 by 5 so what will be the general solution this will not be the general solution this will be the general solution a plus bx e to the power 5 by 2x right so the correct option is b uh, find the general solution of this so again what will be the auxiliary equation m cube minus 2 m square minus 4 m plus 8 is equal to 0 so I can take m square common I will get m minus 2 I can take minus 4 m common I will get m minus 2 is equal to 0 so I will get m minus 2 into m square minus 4 is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me m minus 2 into m plus 2 into m minus 2 is equal to 0 so the roots are 2 2 and minus 2 so 2 2 means this solution will be correct so you can see that uh, in the this unit uh, basically uh, solving the non sorry homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient is the major component there are other uh, topics also that what is the fundamental solution what is the basis how to find the other uh, uh, solution when one of the solution is given so those things actually uh, are not very suitable but in case just to be more confident you should watch the uh, you know video lecture series and in the playlist that I have uploaded the first two uh, you know uh, videos lecture 1 and lecture 2 will cover the whole unit 2 now evaluate the Ronskian for the set of function so suppose I have to solve this question so how will I evaluate e to the power 2x and x e to the power 2x first row derivative of this that is 2 uh, e to the power 2x and what is the derivative first function x derivative of this is 2 e to the power 2x and plus e to the power 2x derivative of x is equal to 1 so I will get uh, if I multiply 2x e to the power 4x and plus e to the power 4x and if I multiply this I will get minus 2x e to the power 4x so this term and this term is cancelled so what I get is e to the power 4x so this is the Ronskian evaluate for the Ronskian for the set of function I think we already have uh, done this kind of problem earlier but just for the sake of completeness let me calculate this quickly here so 2x 6x plus 3 and 3x plus 2 derivative 2 6 3 again derivative 0 0 0 everything is 0 in the third row so Ronskian value will be equal to 0 means linearly dependent <coughs> evaluate the Ronskian for the set of this function so how will I evaluate the Ronskian uh, e to the power x e to the power 2x e to the power 3x derivative e to the power x 2 e to the power 2x and 3 e to the power 3x 
and then e to the power x uh, 4 e to the power 2x and 9 e to the power 3x so here e to the power x is common from the first column e to the power 2x common from the second column e to the power 3x common from the third column so here i will get 1 1 1 here i will get 1 2 and 4 and here i will get 1 3 and 9 so if i solve this i will get e to the power x 2x and 3x so that is 6x and to solve this uh, i can make zeros but let us do it quickly so 1 into uh, 9 into 2 18 minus 4 into 3 12 uh, minus 1 into 9 minus 3 and uh, plus 1 into 4 minus 2 right so what did i get here e to the power 6x uh, 18 minus 12 is equal to 6 minus 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 and plus 2 so i get 2 into e to the power 6x so which option is correct this option is correct and it was very obvious at this stage it itself that i have got e to the power 6x and none of that option has e to the power 6x so i could have ticked the answer here itself these two steps i have done just for your confidence otherwise you are smart enough to see that this option will co become uh, correct okay find the general solution of this so 2m square uh, minus 4m plus 8 is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me 2m square and uh, uh, or let me like uh, uh, it is 16 so I have to write like m is equal to minus b so plus 4 plus minus b square so that is minus 4 square so minus 16 minus 4 ac so 4 into 2 into 8 divided by uh, 2 into 2 so what did I get I get uh, 4 plus minus 16 minus uh, 64 so 16 minus uh, 64 that is minus 48 by 4 so that will give me uh, 4 plus minus and it will be 16 into 3 so 4 under root 3 i am I right or wrong so basically 4 square is 16 and 3 square is 3 under root 3 so 80 yeah correct so I will get 1 plus minus under root 3i so which option will be correct e to the power x this to have e to the power minus x so can't be correct right and uh, uh, cos root 3x and sin root 3x now see gentlemen uh, they are just trying to confuse you because uh, here in spite of writing the option like e to the power x a cos root 3x uh, plus b sine root 3x they have written like a sine root 3x means the way we are writing it either i write this term or this term first does not matter and in in place of the constant plus b they have taken the arbitrary constant minus b so it does not matter so this this will be the correct option I hope you have understood the uh, problem so let us look at this question uh, the solution of this so if I look at the order here it is 4 dash basically sometimes they write y4 or like this so don't get confused just by a wild guess I can think that the C option should be correct because the general solution should contain 4 arbitrary constant but anyway to be more sure I am writing m4 that uh, auxiliary equation minus 5 m square plus 4 is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me m to the power 4 minus 4 m square minus m square uh, plus 4 is equal to 0 now I think you can sense that m square common I will get m square minus 4 here minus 1 common I will get m square minus 4 is equal to 0 so uh, m square minus 4 into m square minus 1 is equal to 0 so I will get m is equal to 2 minus 2 1 and minus 1 so the correct option will be this right so we are already into around 49 minutes I want to wind up in uh, at least 60 minutes so the solution of this differential equation I think uh, let's uh, you solve it and answer me in the comment section because similar questions have been done number of imaginary roots of the auxiliary equation of so how many uh, uh, imaginary roots will be there the auxiliary equation is m square plus 1 cube is equal to 0 
so there are actually three factors m square plus 1 into m square plus 1 into m square plus 1 is equal to 0 so from this I will get plus minus iota from this I will get plus minus iota and plus minus iota so there are total six imaginary roots and uh, in case if they ask you the question what will be the general solution this is not the part of the solution but anyway in case if they ask that what will be the general solution what it will be it will be uh, c1 plus c2x plus c3x square uh, cos x and plus c4 plus c5x plus c6x square sin x so I hope you understand this uh, the solution of this question that uh, they have given some condition initial value problem this is known as so how to solve it first of all the auxiliary equation is m square minus 2m plus 10 is equal to 0 so m is equal to uh, minus b that is plus 2 plus minus b square so that is equal to 4 minus 4 into a that is 1 into c that is 10 divided by 2a that is 2 so I get 2 plus minus 4 minus 40 that is uh, minus 36 by 2 so I get 2 plus minus 6i by 2 so I get 1 plus minus 3i so the general solution is uh, y is equal to e to the power x c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x and they have given us two condition y0 is equal to 4 so if I put y0 is equal to 4 this means what that I have to put 0 here so e to the power 0 will be 1 and it will be like c1 cos 0 so cos 0 is equal to 1 and c2 sin 0 is equal to 0 that is equal to 4 so I get uh, c1 is equal to 4 and uh, now you can sense that either this option will be correct or this option will be correct but I am not sure what will be the value of uh, c2 so for that we have to find y dash so y dash is equal to differentiation of this so first function e to the power x derivative of this so I will get minus 3 c1 sin 3x and then derivative of this that is 3 c2 cos 3x and then the second function that is c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x and derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x now y dash 0 is equal to 1 so this means what that I have to put 0 here so e to the power 0 will become 1 uh, sin 0 will become 0 so it will be like 3 c2 cos 0 will be 1 so it will be like 3 c2 plus here again e to the power 0 will be 1 and c1 uh, cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 so into uh, c2 into g, uh, 0 is equal to 4 so from this what do I get uh, uh, I am getting c1 from this a and plus 3 c2 is equal to 4 so I want c2 right so 3 c2 will be 4 minus 4 uh, 3 c2 will be how much 4 minus c1 so 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 so c2 is equal to 0 so basically here uh, c1 is equal to 4 and c2 is equal to 0 so this term will vanish so what I will get I will get this as the solution so I hope uh, you have understood verify the question and let me know if you uh, understood it or not so number of roots of the auxiliary equation is given to be so how many roots it will have this is a quadratic equation so there are two terms here d square plus d plus 1 and again d square plus d plus 1 so both of them are quadratic so this will give us two root this will give us two root and d minus 2 will also give me one root so total number of roots of the auxiliary equation will be 5 this question is similar to the question that I solved here so I leave this for you to uh, complete let me know if you are able to the Ronskian I already have calculated in one of the previous question uh, just you answer which of the following is correct uh, this question uh, I want to solve that if e to the power x and e to the power 4x are the solution of this then what is the value of ax and bx so e to the power x is a solution and e to the power 4x is a solution means 1 is a root and 4 is a root 
so the auxiliary equation will be m into m minus 1 into m minus 4 is equal to 0 so so this will give me m square minus m minus 4 m plus 4 is equal to 0 so this will give me what this will give me m square minus 5 m plus 4 is equal to 0 so the uh, you know uh, what you call it uh, differential equation will be y double dash minus 5 y dash plus uh, 4 is equal to 0 so they are writing ax so clearly what is ax here here ax is equal to minus 5 and what is the coefficient of y coefficient of y is uh, actually actually it is 4 y sorry so coefficient of y is equal to 4 so ax is equal to minus 5 and bx is equal to 4 so i think this option will be correct here it is minus 5 4 here it is 5 4 so no 5 minus 4 no minus 5 and minus 4 so a option will be correct okay if y is equal to e to the power a t is a solution of then then what is the possible value of uh, a so there are two ways to solve this problem one by substituting it or one by solving it so uh, one way is like you just solve it write the auxiliary equation m square minus 5 m plus 4 is equal to 0 so if you factorize it you get m square minus 4 m minus m plus 4 is equal to 0 so from this you get what m common m minus 4 you can take minus 1 common m minus 4 is equal to 0 so you get m is equal to 4 and m is equal to 1 so the general solution will be c1 e to the power in terms of t if i write it is uh, e to the power t and c2 e to the power 4t now they are saying that what can be the value of a so if i compare it a can be either 1 or a can be either 4 so 1 is not given but 4 is given so the c option i will select okay so we have uh, completed this video here and uh, we have completed everything in less than an hour it has taken a lot of effort i have tried to uh, solve so many questions and have tried to include all kind of possibilities uh, but uh, still I would suggest to you that if you have the time uh, watch the playlist uh, of unit 2 and unit 3 it is very very easy thing because certainly the later topics that you will be coming across will be slightly difficult so it is very important to uh, score maximum uh, based on this topic so please widely share it with everyone and uh, I will expect that this one should reach to all the students who are going to appear for exams and uh, depending upon the response I am going to upload unit 3 video also. So thanks for watching and have a very great day.